The very first thing you need to do is to understand the general overview of the platform. What are the key uh, features? What are the key components that you should pay attention to while working on uh, Filmora 12? Okay, so the first tab you see here is the media, uh, my media tab, okay, which is where you have all your media. If you have direct media, you can uh, bring in media from your computer, from any external device that you have, or if you have it saved on the cloud, you can as well access them directly from here. So you can import, you have global uh, media, you can have cloud media, and then you can have adjustment layer and all these features as well. Down here, you have the option to import directly. Once you click on this import, you will have the option to import from the media file within your computer or from you can import a complete folder if you want or you can import from external device maybe you have a pen drive or you have an external hard drive that you've attached to your computer you can as well import your media from there directly or you can do import with instant cutter tool you can do that if you have some media saved over there or you can import with auto beat synchronization which is a new feature that is introduced by filmora if you have your media over there as well, you can do that. And then you have other media, other options to import. Like if you have your media saved in Google Drive or on OneDrive or on Dropbox, you can all have access to them directly and import your media and work directly connected with all these uh, platforms. Then you have the search bar. If you have imported all your media, you can search different media accordingly. And then you have record option, okay? Filmora, like I've said earlier on, gives you the opportunity to record your webcam. You can record directly a video from a webcam if you're positioned it somewhere, or you can do record your voice over directly from your mic. Like right now, I'm recording my voice over from my Rode NT-USB mic, and then you can record your screen also if you want. You can do all this if you, you can set, you can do the three simultaneously, record your screen, record your camera, and record your voice over also. And if you have, imported some media you can be able to search them accordingly and find them find out where they are or you can easily get to them very fast uh, down here you have the option to filter your media by different kind of features you can filter all video or all images or all audio or all dot srt files you can filter accordingly from here or you can come to these three dots and you can see you can want to view by the list view you can have the list view or large thumbnail view or and right now the default one is the middle thumbnail view if you want to have it a large thumbnail view you can enable that or small thumbnail view you can enable all that or you can do sorting by name by duration by resolution or by sample rate or by ascending or descending order according to you or you can group them by type okay by type by date created or by camera name or duration you can do all that with your footage so this most important thing is to understand that this is the media bin where you import all your media and store them over here and then you have this talk media this talk media is where you have uh, filmora go advanced when it comes to dealing with other platforms it's interconnected with pixels giphy pixabay unsplash all these are platforms that you can download videos and photos as well they are HD, very good quality that you can easily download and use on your content. And these are royalty free images and videos that you can use. You can easily use them and reuse with your, within your content. So you can search. For example, I want to search a video on cats. So once you search on cats, you just hit on enter and you will be able to see a number of videos that have to do with cats. And you can just, all you need is just download them and install in, and insert. You can see them in different qualities in 4K, in HD and, and many more. Okay, so depending on what you want. And if you're looking for photos as well, you can find a lot of photos that have to do with cats, just like we have just searched. So if you have your, this is, these are mine. Okay, these are mine, these are the, my downloads. If you have them, you can see them over here and you can have, this is film stock uh, that has uh, connected with all of these devices. So you can search on pixel, uh, pixels, you can search on Giphy, you can come to Giphy and just go ahead and see multiple stickers and you can see GIFs also. Uh, you can see GIF files also that you can work with very easily and nice. You can just click to download and just add it to your timeline and go ahead with your editing process. And then we have Keep Pixabay. Pixabay also is another platform that is housed filled with number of uh, video footage and even photos that you can easily drag and drop or download and import into your editing process. And then you can have it for your content. It's, all of them are royalty free on Splash also is super when it comes to videos and, and photos as well. So you can easily check out on all of this and see which 
and which of the footage can be relevant to you according to your message, according to your content. So what this means is you don't have to go directly to all of these websites to be able to download content or to be able to download a media. You can easily connect it from here, from the platform. You just click with just a simple click. It will download and it will add it to your timeline. And you can go just go ahead and, and, and continue with your installation. So we have audio platform. We have a number of audios, which we'll talk about in a bit. And then we have different kind of titles. When it comes to text, you can see different kind of titles. You have trending ones and you have new ones. You have transitions when you want to do uh, basic transitions within your platform, within two or more videos. You can apply transitions to have professional look and professional finishing. And then we have effects. Okay, there are tremendous and uh, there are a bunch of effects that you can add to your content. These are stickers. You can easily drag and drop and then you can have it in your content to look much more professional. And we have general templates that you can apply to your videos. Okay, very easily. You have them on different features, on different uh, arrangement, different groups. You have them in games. You have them in sports, you have them in social media, and you have them in travel, or they are about. So it all boils down to you. What do you want? So this is the preliminary or the import, uh, the preliminary tab where you see all of this. And then you have the preview panel. This is the preview panel where you have a preview of whatever you are working on before even it gets to the timeline. So you have the option to play and to stop or to play, go to the next frame or um, next frame forward or next, next frame backward, or you can stop you can play and see a preview of what you're working on on this very platform and then down here you have the uh, timeline this big bar is just the timeline where you have all your basic editing and all the playhead movement as well as the preview of whatever is here on the preview panel so you have a number of features which I'll, i'm going to explain to you once you once you start importing the media and kickstarting uh, and, and bringing in very basic things. 